welcome. This is the Energy Vibration Reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is going to be a week of transformation. Um, this is extremely good. Your own energy vibration is here on Saturday. What's the is happening? Your own energy vibration is here on Saturday. Um, for you Librans, whatever is happening on Saturday, um, the energy of your energy vibration here on Saturday is saying that you're over you have overcome your enemies justice and you have overcome your enemies okay let's see on the the numbers that are happening here um the number three is and the number three there's three times three for you guys so you Librans who are trying to connect with the spirit world, they have heard you and they are trying to connect back with you. Your best day is going to be Saturday, Friday and Saturday for you Librans. But this is going to be a positive, positive week. This week is the energy vibrations of inner strength, which is a fire energy. This inner strength, each and every person is going to need because it's affecting each and every person in this week. I, it's this 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 coming this this week of uh, um, the 19th until the 25th of June. It's the end of the first six months of the year, and you are moving your air sign that is moving out of your own zodiac energy vibration into the water energy zodiac vibration. And this is where you're seeing that for you air sign people, there's a lot of changes that are happening. Because whenever we move from our one zodiac, whenever we move from out the zodiac energy of our ourselves, and we're moving in a zodiac energy of somebody else, then we're seeing all these extra um, um, changes that that are happening. And this is this is this is happening for you guys in this week. Your week is a is a very is a week of woo woo, and it's the threes are here like three times okay so whatever is happening you people who are connecting with your guides and angels and um, your masters and uh, and, and um, goddesses and godinas and so and the the people from um, the universal spiritual world um, the galactic world let me say it like that it's a week where they're calling out to you to come in and calling out on you to connect with them and uh, for the people who are seeing UFOs and so this week is going to be a very profound week that the intergalactic beings are coming in to have a connection with you guys so uh, this is a message for people out there you Librans and for the Librans you some of you are changing you're changing your own energy vibration because you are no more Librans but you're going backwards so be aware of that the changes are happening for you Librans and it's going to be you know a rough one but yet still if you work with the energies and the transforming the energies you're going to realize that uh, it's um, good what do we have here on there is something happening if your mom is um, of an energy vibration of the hurt element if your mom is a a steer, uh, a, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Be aware of this. There is going to be a connection with you and her. It can be a spiritual connection. It can be via the night for the people who does astral travel. But doors of opportunities are going to open, and you're going to make them open for this Capricorn person, whoever she is. On Monday, a lot of you air signs are carrying burden in this week. I don't know what it is. And the burden come with the energy of your feeling heartbroken over something. You're carrying a burden and you're feeling heartbroken over something. And it's okay. All right. We need to really um, understand ourselves and really focus and really be aware of certain aspects that is going on. And, you know, on Monday whatever burden this is and we're feeling are broken over it it can be that someone passed over and but this is a burden that you need to let go it can be grief happening in your life you need to let go and move on and you need to understand that each and everything came in your life for a lesson okay 
find out what that lesson is and sometimes I'm saying what really could that lesson be you know I don't do anyone anything I'm trying to do but there's a lesson for everything okay as we go on on Tuesday it's gonna be a good day for you on Tuesday because the nine of cups that mean and the nine of cups is coming up with the uh, with the energy of money so um, it's, it's as if um, you lost some money or for some people is that you lost some money or for some people is that you need more money and the nine of cups is coming in and say your financial situation is going to be okay you have no need to worry about your financial situation this is what it's saying you have no need to worry about your financial situation because it's going to be okay because you're working on Tuesday whatever because everybody wants to know that they're they have financial security and this is what you want so on Tuesday it is saying to you you have no need to worry about your financial situation okay as we move forward we have the energy of the three of ones the three of ones the wonderful energy because you're leaving behind um, your burdens and you're looking for something which is much beautiful much better in your life and this is what you're going to be finding because the energy of you looking for something and axing out and saying to your angel I want something I want this or something better I want you know this or something better so you are going to say I want a better life I want a better job I want I want to be at a place I want to have a work I want to have a better work you know this or something better that you need to ask the angels because by just asking them you are going to receive what you want so you know this is also your focus of this week to look for new grounds new look for you new opportunities look for new grounds break new grounds break out new things because you are going to see that the energy of, of, of judgment is going to be um, here and it's as if the energy of judgment uh, looking for somewhere new and the energy of judgment is a wonderful energy because what this is doing is that it is beckering out to you look for something new in your life um, on Thursday another wonderful energy is the energy of the Pentacles so you have fire water and um, fire water and the Pentacles energy on Thursday you're working with a group of people to bring a success to something and by working with a group of people on Thursday you're going to see successful endeavors coming in your life the page of Pentacles is going to be here and um, the energy of the page of Pentacles when you're working on something is that the universe is telling you by working on this thing money is going to come to you in um, ways beyond your wildest imagination and it is going to be coming okay so be aware of this whatever you're working on on Thursday stay with that on Friday you have the period of the nine of sword in resting is the good resting dates for you guys because it's the end of another zodiac energy vibration for your sister sign and with this um, resting day on Friday you're going to get a lot of messages coming to you a lot of invitation a lot of people a lot of invitation coming to you guys so this is going to be extremely good and it's all going to be about your work uh, situation so this week is about work but yet still it's a it's it's all about work in this week there is nothing that is showing the form and I it's it's, it's all about work you're focusing on your work on Saturday you have the energy of the moon but it's a victorious success over your enemies whatsoever that was happening you have success um, over your enemies so whatever is happening on Saturdays is a huge success uh, you are having a grand success over your enemies and this is extremely good because you have overpower your enemies and this is a wonderful so you have victorious um, come out over your enemies on Sunday you're looking at your financial situation and you're, you're trying to bring a balance and news is going to come to you about this balance it's going to be an extremely wonderful um, but financial balance so whatsoever you were working on on Thursday this is going to bring you a wonderful balance uh, to your financial situation and it's going to be good news about extra work that is coming in for you guys for people who are in business and that sort of a thing because this week is not about the money it's all about uh, this week is not about love it's all about money and work so the energy of money and work is here a lot of information is going to be coming into you like people are telling you oh you know um, you could go there you can do this you can do that that sort of a thing that sort of an energy that is coming in and you're going to see people helping you 
to bring forth um, um, the sort of a situation and you're going to see that people are helping you but yet still people are supporting you in your journeys in whatsoever you're doing a lot of people um, there be a lot of information coming at you um, you are victorious in over your enemies is a wonderful um, thing finally so whatever that was bothering you on Monday and you are feeling burdensome and you feel as if you know your heart is going out and um, this is going to be good for people who have kids it's very important if you have kids that is from an earth energy vibration of an uh, uh, a fire energy vibration you have here you have kids who are Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, look out for them they need your support if you have people kids who are from a fire sign which is uh, the Aries uh, the Leos and the, Sag the Sagittarians look out for them because they need your support in this week so for the people who have kids uh, um, they are showing up in your reading so Whoever these kids are, if they're of an earth energy vibration or a fire sign, so if they are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, Aries, um, Sagittarius, and Leo, please look out to them, connect with them because there is a certain things. And if your mom um, is of a earth energy vibration sign, connect with your mom because she is she's sitting down there, she's worried about you. So um, you, um, Librans, if your mom is a uh, um, a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn please connect with her she's a bit worried about you I'm working with Archangel Michael and the angel answer card and the message for you from Archangel Michael is protect yourself shield yourself shield yourself whatever is going on shield yourself people um, shield yourself um, beloved Archangel Michael I ask you to protect me and love uh, my loved ones my vehicle and my home with your powerful shield surround us in your purple light which allow us only pure love to penetrate please stay with us day and night and keep my loved ones safe and you can name all the people that you want Archangel Michael to keep safe in this week okay so whatsoever is going on shield yourself you Libras you need to shield yourself because you're thinking that you're working with people and that sort of a thing but you need to shield yourself see Archangel Michael I ask you to protect me my loved ones my vehicle and my own with your powerful shield surround us in your purple light which allow only pure love and light to penetrate please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe it is good and you can also call down on your mighty I am present self to bring in the energies of protection for you too next energies that we have is for the angel answers and the angel and trust yeah I'm laughing because um, I would say trust whatever you do trust have trust faith and trust renew your faith and trust and I want to read trust for you I, I really need to re read trust for you trust it says trust you know protect yourself and trust this is just uh, a good trust 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 this is a time for a trust sometimes there's no yes and there's no 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 to a question there are situations where we're better served not knowing what is the outcome so that the miracles can unfold before our own eyes like children opening up a gift part of the magic of life is finding in the joy and surprise is being found in the joys of surprise so again it's like children opening a gift part of the magic of our lives is found in the joy of surprise some people don't like surprises trust that your angels have something amazing in store for you even if they cannot quite yet tell you what it is and trust me people if we learn to use trust 
whenever you ask and call out to your angels uh, and try to use trust to bring in whatever it is uh, you will realize that it will happen because the angel always and believe in yourself trust and believe in yourself because the angels always have the best thing for you and the angels always have the best in your regards because sometimes you say yeah but I did ask for this and why didn't you guys give me this and the angels are trying to tell you it was not in your best interest so whenever things happen um that you don't you know it was never in your best interest there was something that was much better um, we all have our blueprints but sometimes we come in this life and we see things that we want this and we want that but yet still it's not good for us so this is what will happen I want to say thanks to each and every person I want to say please listen to your Sun moon and rising sign this is just going to be a wonderful performed week for you guys and I want to say to each and every person remember love is the only thing that is real this week is all about the money and work so be aware of this the energy for you guys you have three times three that means the ascendance masters wants to collect with you your spirit guides the intergalactic beams wants to connect with you open up yourself to that and I'm saying namaste until next week listen to the month of June readings and the, the next third quarter and I'm saying goodbye until next week.